When you are ahead, the number one most important thing for you to do is to What's up, everybody? So I played this game like 20 minutes ago, and uh, we absolutely dominated. And by we, I mean I absolutely dominated it with some really good early pathing. So I figured I would make a quick video from it, explain to you guys how I did. A level one, they invade. It's kind of a funky situation here. Now from here, we have zero control and zero vision in the spot side. So in my head, I am really scared that I'm losing these camps to Udyr. So as I'm taking blue, which I'm unfortunately having to do leashless, I am like kind of just thinking that I'm losing my camps. I'm making the assumption that Udyr is on these three camps right now or one of these three camps we had vision of the red briefly but i assumed he started chickens so i walk in uh let's see i wonder if there's vision okay they have no vision so because i assume he's taking my bot side what i do is i eat blue and then i go like this the reason that i did this specific path and i didn't walk this way is because it's common for this area and this area to be warded at level one anything like here is very likely to be warded by somebody, whether it's the mid laner or like the jungler. Somebody oftentimes will ward this area. The safest way for me to possibly path is not actually what I did. It would have been to walk like this and then go to the red. As then I avoid all of these hot spots for wards here. I dodged most potential ward spots. I had a ward here, so I could be reasonably confident this bush isn't warded. Uh, and then I walk here. I'm actually not 100% sure if you can do this. Last season before the map changes, if there was a ward in this bush, you could go like this and you would actually dodge the ward. If it's warded in the middle, which it kind of has to be to see the whole bush now, uh, you can probably do this to get around that ward. But it's also an option for Kindred to just queue over this wall and go in. But basically, in my head, I think Udyr's in my bot side, so I'm going to trade his top side for my bot side because I don't want to fall behind. So I go in, I eat his red, queue over, take the Krugs, and this whole time, I'm just keeping an eye on this ward that I placed here because if Udyr didn't clear my bot side, which obviously from the replay, we can see he did not actually start my bot side. He left these camps up and in fact started here, which we can tell because all the camp indicators are gone. In my head, what Udyr can do is do some combination of these camps, whether it's red and raptors or red Krugs raptors, and then recall and run from base to defend his topside camps or see what he can do with his topside camps. A good jungler will know if you invade one side at level one, the other jungler is gonna try to do this and invade your like parallel of that. So I'm trying to be wary of him running to me from base, which is why I went red to Krugs and not red to chickens. Cause if I was trying to take all three, I would have needed to go like this because I'm being wary of Udyr cause I don't actually know for sure what's going on. I take the red, I queue over here and I'm just playing for this vision right here. I start my recall and I see Udyr walk here, which means just from looking at him, he has 16 CS and hold on, let's back up so that we can actually see him. I'm recalling. So whenever you see the jungler, click them, look at their buff. Oh wait, my webcam is covering it. Hold on. If you mouse over a champion and you click on them, this information here, this stuff is quite important, especially this, because we can see that Udyr has blue buff and by in this particular game this information does not matter because seeing the blue buff is enough for me to know exactly what he did because i took my blue so he obviously didn't take my blue but in another game where you're like less certain of what the enemy jungler's moves are like let's say instead of actually i don't know where i'm going with that sentence anyway if you click on a champion and look at their stat bar you can see how long they have left on their on their buff if they have a buff so by looking at how long they have on this buff you can like judge where they started or where they've recently been he's had this blue for about a minute now which means that he started at his blue. So it's just another piece of information to confirm what I already suspect. That's a very minor thing, but uh, I figured I would just explain that to you guys real quick because it is useful information. You can reach any rank you want. All you need is information. I can teach you the concepts and mindset that I learned while climbing to masters so you can do the same. Whether you love the game or just want to impress your friends, anything is possible with the information I've collected for you in my jungle guide. If you're ready to take control of your rank today, check out the link in the description. Right now, I am down one camp because I've only cleared three. But the reason I'm not actually behind in the game is because all five of my camps are up and zero of his are up. In my head, as I do that recall, I know Udyr's top side and he has no camps left and the crab has not spawned yet. So he has nothing to do. So Udyr's like here, there's no crab and top is pushed up. So it's basically guaranteed that he's going to walk like this. I'm like basically hundred percent sure that he's going to do that. So I run straight back to top side. I pinged my Aatrox a bit, but he still messed up and died, but whatever. I'm here at the right time and this bush was pink warded. So I just run in, kill the Udyr and then run down and take the crab. And as I'm taking this crab, I'm looking at the map to see what the most valuable thing I can do is because like my camps are up right now. 
but clearing my camps does not matter if there's something I can do aggressively on the map. Clearing your camps you only do when you have nothing better to do in the game. So if you have something better to do, you always want to do the better thing. And in this case, the better is to eat this crab and then see that my mark spawned on this crab and run straight to this. And I'm spam pinging my pike to walk in here from bot lane because I see that they have prio. So pike walks in, gets me vision on this crab. And I do know that Udyr is likely doing this from base. He's likely just sprinting straight to bot side because his Gromp is going to be his first camp to spawn and he just wants to protect the side of the map. And he probably sees that this crab is up and it's my mark, so he might try to take it. But realistically, in this game, he's kind of behind, so he shouldn't try to contest it. But telling my pike to walk over just means that in the time it takes for me to walk here and do this and clear this crab, I just know that I'm not losing this crab because the mark is really important and the mark is the win condition. So I walk in, pike leashes the crab for me a bit, I take the crab, and now there's nothing better for me to do in the map. My bot's pushed in, my mid's pushed in, my top's pushed in, everybody's doing good, nothing for me to do. So it's time for me to clear my camps finally. And then I clear these camps and I'm like, oh, there's a bot opportunity now. So I show up to this fight, Udyr's here as well. We we play it well, we kill all three of them, and now we have a humongous lead. I am absolutely enormous at this point in the game. I probably could have helped my bot lane push their wave, maybe that would have stopped myself from dying to a Kali, but I wanted to get back on the map and get my items, because I'm super strong and I wanted to go to the grubs, because it's five minutes. So right here, we see Tarek walk in here. So that gives us a lot of information, because we know Tarek's not bot, we see Udyr here, and Tarek is here. So we actually have vision of all five people on the map right now. Knowing that, I can safely run in here to attack Tarek with my Aatrox, however, I miss play here and I disrespect the level six ergot who's two levels above me and he basically just one shots me and then he presses R I die and then my team gets kind of fucked as well they do just barely kill Tarek which gives me the mark which is really nice but I think my Gragas eventually dies to the Akali as she like walks over here yeah and that's completely my fault like if we actually watch this fight this fight is really good we are much stronger 3v3 like my top is basically even or actually no my top is actually slightly behind but he's close enough to even that it doesn't really matter because of how big my lead is and Tarek is level four and my uh Gragas is also here so what I should have done like right here instead of walking in like this I should have just played outside of Urgot's max range and just like basically stayed like this from him because all I actually need to do is stall for my Gragas to come in because as soon as Gragas is here like we are guaranteed to win this fight so all I need to do is just like corral them like as close to here as I can so the Gragas can kind of circle behind them and we can kill them easily but instead I miss position get one shot by Urgot and ruin the fight that does really suck but I'm still pretty far ahead in the game, so it's not that bad. Uh, I go into my top side. My win condition in this game is bot lane because I have like I have Kaisa, I have Pike. I'm ahead. Dragon is here, and I want to play for Dragon and Crab right now. So uh, Udyr, I know Udyr's top side after this fight, and I'm almost certain that he's taking the worms. So what I do is I eat my Gromp and then I eat my Wolves, and I skip the blue because I don't give a shit about the blue. The blue doesn't really help me that much, and the most important thing is sequencing this camp and this camp so that they are on a respawn timer and will come back with a higher level, which will mean that they give more XP. So it is important to sequence these camps, but I don't really care about the blue because the blue isn't really like that. The blue's not going to be up for five minutes. So like, it's kind of whatever. Because I've cleared my weak side camps, I can then skip my strong side camps because they're on the side of the map that I want to be playing for so I can clear them whenever I want. So I run straight to the crab, get my mark, take the dragon because my bot lane is prio and also my mid is prio. We take the dragon, I shot on my mid as he's fighting and then uh, Udyr, I'm pretty sure Udyr makes a play top side. Yeah. So while we're on the dragon, uh, Udyr makes to play topside and instantly as soon as i see udyr show on the map the first thing in, a, in my mind is what can i do to punish him for this information so and obviously the most effective way to punish the enemy jungler is to take their camps so i see him top i judge that based on his cs and the game time it's pretty likely that his bot side camps are up so i just do this i run in here to, to see if i can contest these camps uh and this whole time i am pinging my pike because my team needs to know that i'm making an aggressive play and if things go badly they need to be able to follow up on me so it's really important for me to communicate with them before I'm in danger that I'm putting myself in a potentially dangerous position. So I start by taking the blue and then I take the Gromp and I'm trying to do this very safely. Like uh, I take the blue and I stay in this area. I take the Gromp, I stay right here, which means I still have vision here, but I'm not actually extending all the way up to the wolves where I'm in the most danger because like the wolves can get attacked from a lot of different positions and in a lot of ways that make it hard to escape. But now my pike is here. 
And in my head, I ask Pike to ward this because there's like a decent chance that you're just doing this right now. I'm not 100% sure where he is, but there's a good chance that he is basically at the equivalent of this distance from base on the top side of the map, if we check. No, okay, he just full cleared after top side. This guy, this jungler was not that good. He like, if he is smart, he knows I'm taking his camps right now and he should be on his way here, but he's not. So we get his camps for free, but it was still valuable for me to play defensively like that because it's bad for me to die and throw my lead. And like, I have my team. So by communicating with them, making sure we're on the same page, we can just continue dominating this game, which is like kind of a weird feeling because we're actually even in gold right now, but it feels like we're super far ahead. But I guess we do just have stronger early game champions. Like Kindred is really strong. Pike is really strong, especially compared to Smolder and Tarek. So there's nothing else for me to do bot side. I got these camps. So I take my recall so that I can go clear my weak side camps again. I notice that my blue is gone, but I don't really care about that. So it doesn't really bother me. And then I go, I cover mid for a sec. I start going for my bot side and I'm realizing that. And as I go through chickens, I realize that Udyr actually took these chickens already. So he saw that these camps were gone and just walked into my jungle. So actually what I probably should have done is before I recalled after taking these camps, I should have gone into my jungle and sequenced these three and then recalled here and then run top side from base. That would have been the like objectively better pathing for me to do because it would have then made it impossible for Udyr to gain back like golden XP from taking these camps. Uh, he doesn't end up actually taking the Krugs, so I sequence those and sequencing the Krugs right now means that these two camps are on like a similar timer. There's probably a 40 to 50 second difference between these two, but it's not bad enough that these camps are completely desynchronized. So by making sure I clear this at a similar time to the Raptors, I know the next spawn, if I delay them a little bit, I'll be able to clear them in the pair because almost 100% of the time you want to try to clear your camps in pairs. You almost never want to clear a single camp and then leave. So I run to mid because I see this fight happening. We push in, we kill the Udyr. And again, same thing as before. The jungler's dead. I have information. What is the most impactful way I can punish him for this mistake that he has made? Like this 20 seconds that he's dead. Wow, that keeps happening. This like 20 seconds that he's dead. What can I do at this time? And at this point in the game, the best thing I can do is, is push in the mid wave and then run up to the Krugs because it's my mark. And even if it wasn't my mark, counter jungling these two camps is still the best play I can make at this point because there's nothing else that's like super valuable for me to do. So I run to the Krugs, but then I'm looking at the map and I see that they're all rotating to me. So I'm with my Aatrox, we kite back, and uh, we end up calling to fight this, which was pretty dumb. My support was getting a little bit outroomed, at least in this early game. Tarek was showing up in a lot of really valuable places and deciding fights. So we should have probably been playing a little more carefully to acknowledge that like we're at a numbers disadvantage here, or we're likely to be at a numbers disadvantage. But Aatrox get, gets Urgot ulted, but I'm playing safe because I don't want to die. So I end up walking away and I get out. And then uh, my Pike is here now and we see Akali backing. If Akali is not recalling, I do not do this. If Akali is just sitting here helping them take the worms, there is no way I would ever walk into this because Akali is 2-0 and she will kill me. Only walk in here because I see her recall. So I see her recall finish. Akali is now in base. Tarek is here, and I think Udyr is here as well. Yeah, Udyr is on the worms. And my Gragas is here, so we start fighting them. We pull the Tarekar. I'm cutting down. Uh, I just barely die, but I trade for Udyr. And then my team keeps fighting. Pike misses his second R, uh, and then Gragas lives. Aatrox comes back, kills a collie. So we just barely win this fight, but it was really close and a bit risky. It would have been best to just not do what we did here and just like walk away with the win of getting the Krugs on the mark because then Erg Aatrox would have been alive right here. So instead of this being like a risky fight, my Aatrox should have just been able to rotate down at the same time as the Urgot. And then I'm running in from here, my Gragas from mid and Pike from here. So if we had just not forced this random fight here, this would have been a much easier grub take. But we do still win the fight. Grubs are up. There's nothing else for me to do. And I'm quite strong so I can play a little aggressive. So I just run straight back to the grubs and take them. And then dragon is up. So in this case, like these are my weak side camps. So it feels bad for me to be leaving all three of these camps up. But in this situation, there's something more important for me to do in the game. So I ignore the camps and I run straight to the dragon in a, a game that's closer. Like we're up 2k gold, even if we're only up two kills, we're really strong in a game that's closer. It might be worth to just give this dragon because that's typically what happens with the grubs. You basically trade grubs for dragon. Usually that's a trade that happens. One jungler gets the grubs, one jungler gets the dragon. So it's okay for us to give this dragon, especially because we got the first one. However, we are ahead. So why would we ever give them an objective for free that we could stop them from getting? So we sprint down and this fight is kind of awkward. Looking at the tempo, like if we zoom out and just look at everyone's position on the map, they have four people here and we have two here, Aatrox here and Kaisa here. Oh, I know we have three here probably actually uh because Gragas as well but like we're desynchronized and we're at a numbers disadvantage because they have four people here as a dragon spawns so I'm playing slow my pike kind of goes in with my Aatrox we lose the dragon but like this whole fight I'm just standing like outside their max range hitting them Urgot is stunned I'm hitting the the Urgot still DPSing him he can't even interact with me and I'm just hitting him for the entire fight and then I go in I see Tarek is low so I switch focus kill the Tarek 
And then I keep cutting back to get away from the Urgot. Eventually we kill the Urgot. And then I think Smolder dies too. And now the game is over. There's basically nothing they can do to come back in this game at this point. Uh, if we look at the replay, we can see that uh, it gets a little hairy late in the game because Smolder gets almost 400 stacks. But basically the game is now over. So all we need to do now, like for the entire rest of the game, what it looks like is getting Pryo in one of the lanes and then taking my laner and me and just walking into Udyr's jungle and pressuring him off of his camps. That's what I do for the entire rest of the game. I like ignore my camps when I don't have a, when I have something else to do. Like the entire game is just me taking his camps because when i'm taking his camps i'm getting gold and he's getting zero gold so my lead just continues to grow on him and i end up doing like 50k damage in this game i even out damage the like hyper fed smolder that's 400 stacks um but like from a perspective of good jungling it's not super important to watch the rest of it because it's pretty basic stuff we just like if you look uh like just looking at the timeline we literally just get everything for the rest of the game so like there's no point in really watching there's there's plenty of videos on my channel about how to snowball uh this one is just more important to focus on the early game and i need to go right now so usually i would go through the rest of the game but i gotta go when you are ahead the number one most important thing for you to do is take the enemy junglers camps that is like the magnum opus of jungle snowballing just take the camps i hope you learned something have a good day